<laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I feel like it's the spells, man. The spells. And the... Okay, everything to be fair, but... I always just, like, forget to look at the spells properly. I think, like, the last couple of games, maybe I did it a bit better, but I don't know. Like, looking back, did I really? I don't know. Um, like, it literally telegraphs which move he's going to do next of his neutral B1s, and I just... I don't know. Every time I tell myself to look at it, I feel like I do not. Um, but... That aside, Ghidra winning the last set against Azalea. Um, exploding the child up into the skies. We love to see it. Beautiful stuff um, from Ghidra. C4 on ledge. And now Ghidra on ledge. See if he can get off against this Azalea ledge trapping. And he does. Bit of a, bit of a missed um, call from Azalea there. And uh, yeah, back to grenades and trying to get in. Nikita's coming out, Grenade's coming out, C4's coming out. Grenade's still going. And that's all he needed. That was all the opening he needed. Enough to make a dent in those stocks. Oh, man. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, snakes down there, a bit dodgy sometimes. The connections don't always, don't always happen. But, ooh, the C4. Just C4 on the ground. Now we're seeing lots of explosions come out. Oh, he got the right read, but not the right execution. I guess wanted to turn around up tilt. Like, dash back and then turn around back into um, the opposite direction. I imagine. I guess with characters having different roll distances, it is a bit annoying to get it just right. Maybe you just didn't know. Oh, okay, the Nikita swerves around, but <laughs> I'm surprised the counter still wasn't act wasn't still active at that point actually. Um, but Nikita, where is he going? But anyway, Ghidra's winning, so I'm I'm glad. I'm very glad. This is this is catharsis for me. Oh no. Okay. Seventy three percent though. Can Azalea land and get off the ledge and do something? Okay. No is the answer to that question. Um, Ghidra just exploding and grabbing his way to rack up that percent. The up smash ended up being the one that did it. <laughs> They're running it back. I think Azalea's committed to the Sora. I get the impression. I don't know what the score was last set. What was it? Uh, oh, it was 3-0 in winners as well. Okay. I say as well as if it's about to... <laughs> okay. Predicting the future a bit, but I don't, I don't want to call it before it's happened, you know? This is quite a... Okay, that's not going to kill just yet. Sora's up B is so fake. You DI to the side and it just, like, doesn't kill. Unless you're at, like, 180 or something. But, yeah. A very fake move. But a decent little lead from Azalea right now. And it was a decent call to use the explosion to get back there. Sometimes snakes do it at a time where, like... Excuse me. Oh, he dro Oh, what? That's actually kind of mad that I didn't have time to hit, that Snake had so so little cooldown on that F smash. I guess it's like Meta Knights where it's got the, you know, big um, wind up and then small cooldown. Mm. 
but Azalea with the lead now, if he can get off this ledge and send back the Nikita, very good use of that. But the down air does it. Moving on to the next stock, let's see if he can not get exploded by explosions. 14% to 10. Going for the confirm into the grab, or the kind of, I don't know, fake confirm. It is confirmed sometimes, obviously, but... Oh my god, what is this? But this is good walling out and good um, keeping the... Avoiding the explosions and walling out from Azalea. Finding his openings. Not ready for the down air on shield though. But a bit of this, a bit of this pressure is slipping through right now. Some chip damage. Ooh, yeah, this this damage is starting to rack up. That up tilt was, I think, pretty close. Uh, it's one of those. If the hurt box was slightly different, but up be off the top. Oh my god! <laughs> no way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Your shield doesn't last forever in this game. That was actually insane. But 120% this stock looking in danger. But can he capitalize? Can he get it? Ooh, dash tax isn't going to connect. And Azalea is just running all over it. Bit of an explosion, 140. And the C4 cleans it up. And the confirm off the grenade with the back throw. That was actually, is that the thing that Ghidra was talking about? I think that might have been. After the set, um, their last set, I remember Ghidra saying, oh, I like that you did the back throw thing with the grenade um, or something like that. Um, and that was probably that. See ya. Um, and that's the thing that. Yeah, because it's got a hitbox on it. You can explode grenade with it. Um, and then... I don't know, did it... Did it also explode snake with the grenade? I don't feel like it should, but it, I feel like it did in that situation. Um, but yeah, throws with hitboxes are good against grenades because you've got the invincibility and then... You know, you're also invulnerable from the grenade hit itself. And oh my god, what is, what is, what is this? What is this? What is this? 144, 155. What? That back air was so close, hitting the Nikita very well. Is that the way you want to go? That is not the way you want to go. Oof. Straight onto the stage where the up tilt was waiting. And, uh, wait. Was that 2-0, Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> cool. Right, so, going into game three. That was a very close one. I don't know how close the games and winners were, but that was certainly a close one. Excuse me while I eat a slice of pizza for one moment. Well, a bite of pizza. Okay, so, I'll see ya. We have Azalea going all the way off stage, and he just, he, he just lives, he just is able to go all the way under, no stage spike, no, I guess Azalea wanted the stage spike or something, something to push Ghidra just a little bit too far to actually recover there. I don't see if C4 was on stage, oh, that was a nice cool out there, a jump was the option that Ghidra chose, and it was the right one. Actually covering the get-up attack, which I don't think I've seen that much from... Well, maybe I've not been paying attention enough. Been seeing that much from Azalea out of these down throws. Actually, have we seen many down throws this whole set? I'm trying to think. I don't know. Well, they're here from now. And... 
Azalea trying to find a good spot to get a hit. But getting hit himself. Oh wow, that connected. That up smash actually connected. I'm surprised, but it did. I'm not a Sora player, I wouldn't know, but you know. But now Ghidra with a bit of a lead, looking to just take the 3-0. Is it a 3-0 and go home? Or does Azalea have some more fight left in him? We saw it with the last game where it got right down to like 150s for both players. But going into that Nikita, that's not what Azalea wanted to see right there. And this momentum is looking on Ghidra's side very much. Oh, nice F smash though to turn it around. Okay. But Ghidra's getting it going still, not giving up. Oh my word. The camping is still going. The percent, Sora's percent is going to go up if, ooh, if he can't find a way to, you know, fight back against the, the wall of explosions, but he kind of is at the moment. I've seen the spells come out, but a few, no way that, okay. Late hit of up tilt. Very late hit of up tilt. I, s I swear you never see it. It's kind of mad. <laughs> nice little grabbing the grenade, throwing it back. But is Oh, nice parry there from Ghidra. Oh, but not ready for the C4. That's going to be the set. And the tournament, Ghidra taking tea time this time. Congratulations. Uh, that was, yeah, that was the end. Yeah. Well done to Ghidra for winning tea time 156. Yay. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was glad to see the Sora defeated personally, but, um, I'd love to see Azalea win. Azalea, you know, Azalea's cool. Not going to knock him, but my god, I've played that Sora too much. So, that concludes the tournament for today. So yeah, just going to do some friendlies. Um, I'm going to hop off and probably do some games too. Have a good night, guys, and see you about. Bye-bye.